The hand walkout strengthens the core in the anti-extension pattern, along with the chest and the arms. And you'll only need a mat to cushion your knees if you modify this exercise. Starting with your feet around hip width apart and your hands on the floor around shoulder width apart, begin walking out with straight arms through a bare plank position with bent legs, knees off the floor, to a plank position with straight legs and torso, ensuring your pelvis is slightly tucked with a tight core to protect your lower back. Reinforce this strong core by squeezing the thighs and backside too. Although remaining rigid, your torso should feel like it curves slightly towards the floor throughout the exercise, not the ceiling. You remain on your toes, sitting back through your heels so that you stretch out your calf for increased stability. Continue to walk your hands out beyond your shoulders, keeping your shoulders down away from your ears and driving back into your heels as you go. At your furthest extension, you press your palms strongly into the floor and brace your core the strongest too. Only walk your hands as far forwards as you feel you can brace through your core without collapsing into your lower back, and then walk your hands back in again. Ultimately, aim to get as flat to the floor as possible into a Superman position, with only your toes and the palms of your hands in contact with the floor, no collapsing. Then walk yourself back into the bare plank position before repeating. Common mistakes are prioritizing how far the hands go beyond the shoulders and neglecting the correct body position. And that means instead that the lower back arches placing it under strain and the shoulders can shrug up and destabilize. And do tuck your tail, but don't leave your backside far too high up in the air either. To make the exercise easier, either reduce the distance you walk your hands beyond your shoulders and how flat you go to the floor, or adopt the kneeling plank position for the exercise instead of going up onto your toes with straight legs. To make the exercise harder, add a between two to five second isometric hold at your full extension on each rep.